Hi, we are in 2018 and today I am going to talk about technology trends which will be relevant to banks within 2018. As you are aware, most of the banks today are on a journey of modernizing their technology landscape. And in 2018, they will continue to do so in a progressive manner, in the sense that they will modernize components in a gradual manner, not in a rip and replace kind of a fashion. Banks which have a reference digital architecture will be able to do it much more smoothly. And we'll talk about what this reference digital architecture is all about. In our assessment, there are five aspects to this reference digital architecture. First is related to information architecture itself. Now, what do you mean by information architecture? Information architecture is basically structure of the data. What we will find is more and more banks we start injecting personalization information into these data structures. Let's take an example. A user stays in a particular location which is close to a particular branch or a set of ATMs. Now when the user searches for branch or ATMs, automatically he or she is shown the branches or ATMs closest to his location. So this clearly means that we have personalized the information that we are displaying to the user. The second aspect is the overall application architecture itself. Now, when we talk about application architecture, we are talking about different components within the bank. And when a bank decides that they want to modernize a particular component, they will start looking at what kind of automation improvement can be done by modernizing that component. And the other aspect that will come into picture would be whether that component is self-healing so that there is much less maintenance overhead to deal with that component. Third aspect will be the overall technology architecture itself. Now, when we talk about technology architecture, the obvious consideration would be, is this component cloud native and is it using open source? And these are the considerations that will be there for the technology architecture. Fourth aspect will be integration architecture. Now, when we talk about integration architecture, the basic consideration will be, is this component having simple APIs that it is exposing so that the functions in this component can be invoked from other components or from parties which are outside the bank. Now, these APIs could be current prevailing standards like JSON and REST and so on. And then finally, we are talking about the security architecture, another important aspect. The two, two parts to security architecture, one is adaptive and second is collaborative. Banks will look at adaptive security in the sense your security controls would be different whether you are in your regular location, your regular network and your regular device versus if you are in another location accessing for another device and so on. And these are the five aspects of architecture that banks will take into consideration and then using these yardsticks they will modernize themselves progressively within the year 2018. Thank you.